Let's see what kind of mess we can make today. I got the ratchet on there. And uh, we're going to see. I'm right at due for an oil change here, so. Oh, it's the best time to change an oil in these things. And touch down. Yeah, let's see if we can get these off. So we've got an oil burner up in our upper shop, and that's uh, that's what we do with this used oil. And they burn that during the winter. I couldn't tell you how much it uses because we actually have propane down here in our shop. Let's see here. Oh man, that wasn't too bad. Once I get done with this today, I will degrease this motor. Well, we got some pretty good sized pours coming up next week. We got a overnight bridge that'll be going Monday night into Tuesday morning. It's kind of crazy because they've got a new rule where the concrete can't get over 85 degrees and the air temperature uh, cannot be over 85 degrees. So, uh, and we're literally in the dead heat of summer here. So, be a lot of bags of ice in that load of concrete or in those loads because it's 500 and I think close to 600 yards, I believe. We will have our. 43 meter and we'll be also running a 38 on that job so hopefully everything goes good there and then there's another bridge I believe a day or two after that down the road that I'll probably be helping out on okay there's the two big filters Jim any Christmas trees already ripped my glove. All right, I need to get the Centromax filter and a coolant filter. And if you're wondering, yes, I did hoard up on some filters after everything it seems like that we've been trying to get is shortage and delayed. Everything you keep on hearing about so i went down to the truck shop one day and i've got several oil changes for all of our trucks just in case uh because we were having a hard time getting filters for the mp throw mp motors so uh that's why i'm stocked up here so let's get back to changing oil i'm going to pull this centromax filter off this little filter sits in there and spins i've never quite understood that but either way i've got to pull it off and uh and we'll get the fuel filters. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and knock out this coolant filter real quick. Get this one out of the way. There's already conditioner in these, which is kind of cool when they do that. But yeah, see, this one always leaks a little. So let's see how fast we can get this one done. Wasn't bad. I think we're still pretty lucky that we have the, uh, I guess you could call them the old school motors, the smokers, whatever you want to tell them. Um, I think the new motors with all the diff, uh, 
I don't think there's a lot of problems on those, but definitely uh, more to try and keep up with. So, actually came over last night with a tractor. I was bush hogging and we got a def system on it. And, uh, you know, it's just not like your old model tractors where you can just put diesel in there. You got a donkey with the def, so. Uh, but we've never had any problems out of it, but. That little thing is being a bear. Gotcha. There it is. A little filter right there. Spins. I'm not exactly for sure how that all works, but it must do something, or it wouldn't be on the truck. So I've been pumping concrete now for several years. I uh, started on the belt truck with our operator, Kevin, and we got that truck in March of 2002 uh, then in April of 2005 this uh, 38 meter uh, we got it and uh, I've been on this truck ever since and uh, several years so it's uh, definitely pumping concrete is a job where you don't know what in the world is going to happen the next day. You don't know if you're going to go out and have a good day or a bad day. Uh, the small jobs end up turning into long ones. But, uh, so, I've been doing it a lot of years and, and uh, Dad kind of got me into this, which he started the company back in 77. And uh, that is not one to cooperate. He started the company back in 77 and, and uh, he since then has retired and and uh, and uh, just kind of taking it easy so a lot of family history there uh, sister she works in the office uh, mom is actually retired she worked in the office there for a number of years and uh, just kind of handed down through the family here so trying to keep it up and going we employ, I think right now, I think we're at 80 to 90 employees, which is a pretty good number for us. We're just a local base company. And uh, we don't really travel. Uh, every now and then we will have a job where we will travel here and there, but not very often does that happen. So All right. Sorry, Mac, I don't really tighten them down what your torque is. I just tighten them down where I feel right. So that wrench is not wanting to grab that. But that's okay, we're gonna get it. I'm gonna grab a wrench, tighten that one down. All right, let's throw these fun ones on there. Make sure I don't have any gaskets hanging on there spin these on by hand and give them a little a little love snug and call it good and I'll put this oil cap back on and top this thing off with oil and around to the other side to get the diesel filters Now, as I was saying, we're smaller, you know, I guess bigger around this area, but we are a family-owned business. And uh, we pour a, a lot of concrete during the year. Uh, I couldn't even tell you how much. There's a lot of jobs that go on, a lot of them that I never do uh, even show up on. 
but we average around uh, roughly nine to eleven or twelve thousand yards a year per concrete truck or per concrete pump and uh, we've got three pumps a 32 38 43 and a tele belt and uh, the belt gets used quite a bit for for rock and uh, and definitely very handy for dry concrete all the trucks we run are pooch trucks um, we got some local uh, concrete pumpers they're about an hour and a half away or so and they also run uh, run pooch trucks they feel like they're you know the stoutest of the bunch but not sure which brand everybody runs uh, and pooch probably has a, a good name on there because they got a lot of they got a pretty big outfit up there but all right there it is I do not fill those with oil uh, I've seen a lot of people fill them with oil I've seen a lot of people not fill them with oil I let the truck fill it up itself so that's why I don't top them all all right let's get over here and get some oil in this thing I will tell you here I feel like this is the best oil a person can use Schaefer's maybe it's not but they have a bearing test. They will come out and do right in front of your eyes. There's no smoking lights. There's no mirrors. They do it right in front of your eyes. And I'll just tell you, you will not stop the bearing uh, from spinning. And any other oil will stop that bearing. We actually had a dump truck in there with 18,000 miles on it. Oil was filthy. Uh, I tried to fool them with that. And uh, I did not. So... I uh, wouldn't even tell them Wouldn't even tell them what it was until we put it on the bearing so Okay Put some oil in this thing and then get these fun ones off. Those are usually always the tightest and uh, Usually bent up before we get them Set this thing at ten gallons. And I think I got that right. Here we go. start this truck here I'm gonna wait till I I'm gonna wait till I get these diesel filters off but those oil filters will also need to fill up as the truck is idling and they will it does not take very long here we go get these new ones and top these off with all right let's see will I be lucky or not oh my lord I am lucky unbelievable
probably won't be so lucky on this one. This one's pretty tight too. Maybe I will. Well, there we go. <sighs> Surprise that one come off that good. Okay. There it is. Put some fuel in these other filters, the new ones, and stick them back on there. We keep our hose wrapped up under this on this toolbox this is this is going to be pulling through from our passenger side outrigger i'm going to go ahead and top those off start sticking those back on the reason we do carry this is when you're getting on these big jobs uh, and you start running out of fuel you obviously got your fuel supply there with you you can kind of top yourself off and uh, that's the reason we do that. All right, let's see how far off I am here. I'll let that run for a little while. We need a fuzz bit more. Probably about another two quarts, probably. Truth. Let's try this again here. Pretty well dead on. I'm going to put one more quart in there. Pretty well dead on though. Alrighty. Clean some of this up around here. I'm going to degrease this. Uh, motor and clean the truck once again I'm a I am a Schaefer's oil fan uh, I have been for many years they make a degreaser called Citrol X uh, they also make a uh, cleaner called Turbo Red and I will tell you all that this stuff is unbelievable I don't know how to describe it uh, turbo red you can clean an everyday pickup truck with this uh, and if you got like a little bit of road tar or something on there uh, it will take it off it does not affect the paint uh, Citrol X will actually it like it's like dissolves grease I don't know this stuff is wicked uh, we use that on the booms whenever we clean them and uh, that's based off of their uh, that is actually based off of their uh, Citrol out of the can. And uh, like I say, it is some, the Citrol works really good. Uh, Greg uses this a lot. He'll spray his hands down and uh, his arms if he's got grease. Uh, I don't 
do that a lot uh, just because I'm not that stuff's pretty wicked uh, but the Citrol X is is really good stuff now like I say uh, Citrol X uh, we started using that with Schaefer's there several years back um, I'm a big fan of Schaefer's I like Schaefer's and I also got Creek Crusher which is a concrete dissolver uh, so far that's the best stuff that we have found we have used a lot of acids on our concrete trucks to try and keep the concrete off and so far Creek Crusher has been the best um, but you do not want to spray that on your aluminum wheels and leave it overnight because it will pit your aluminum wheels just a little bit but anyway I'm gonna spray some degreaser on the motor here spray this off and uh, clean the truck here in a little bit all right I sprayed it down there and gonna let that soak for a little while I'm gonna hose it off anybody that runs in a construction business knows that equipment definitely takes a beating uh, from construction just the pickup trucks to drive on the job sites to the concrete trucks pumps cranes uh, lulls anything uh, it still amazes me to this day that stuff holds up like they do I'm gonna get the cab here real quick before I put that thing back down There it is. Alrighty. Give this thing a bath and write down my oil change here and cheap insurance people. Don't don't run ridiculous with your oil. Uh, change it. If you gotta change it oil, change it or If you got to change it early, change it early. We run 500 hours on these trucks. Uh, they will tell you to, or Schaefer's, well, you can send in oil samples and they will actually uh, tell you you can run your truck on up into miles. But uh, my personal preference is not to do that just because oil is cheap and you don't want to tear that motor up. So. Hey, so I got the truck clean. It's hotter than blue blazes back here around the shop today. So uh, if y'all could go ahead and uh, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe. And once again, thanks for watching these videos. I'll try and keep them posted uh, every Saturday morning. I'm going to try and keep a new video up. Uh, we got some big pours coming next week, a couple bridges coming up, and uh, should be a pretty good week next week. So once again, thank you all, and uh, See you on the next one.